Atlanta. Uh, on tour. Today we are going to Brentford, um, which is in London, to watch uh, Fight Start Championship number nine with headlining with Mike Shipman um, of London Shoe Fighters. Uh, going up against Kevin Fryer uh, for a middleweight title. Um, I also got uh, Alfie Davis fighting. Uh, what's his name? Alfie Davis versus Adam Busif, um for the lightweight title, I believe. And after that, we will. Um, below that, we've got uh, Bjarki Thor Palson. Uh, going up against uh, Alan Proctor, uh, which is a rematch of a fight that they had back in December. Uh, I'm sure Thor Pass will be looking for a decisive victory this time, and um, and Proctor will be looking for a victory, uh, revenge, so to speak. Uh, so yeah, it should be a good one. Looking forward to that. Welcome to the manor. So uh, at the train station now, uh, waiting on the train to go to Brentford. Oh, I didn't check the time. Right, uh, it's 3.45. So I've got five minutes to wait. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so I'm going to find someone to sit. For the next five minutes, then we'll go through a bit of the card. Cool, so we are one train now. Uh, Barnes. Then we've got about three or four more stops. Um, should be there. So, quick look at the... Uh, okay. I don't really want to do predictions. Um, Again, uh, there's a lot of people on this card that I've never seen before. Uh, there's some people that I have seen. Um, so, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll give a prediction on the two uh, on, on, on the main on the main fights. Uh, so, we've got Kevin Fry versus Matt Shipman. Uh, Kevin Fry is five and two. Uh, Shipman is nine and one. Uh, Shipman, I've seen fight previously not live but I've seen fight at um, ROC uh, which is Brad Pickett's promotion and from my understanding he's got a very 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 sick submission game very good grappler um, Fryer I've also seen uh, I've seen some videos um, online um, as I was prepping myself for this event um, he's it seems it seems um, it seems very good um, to be honest, but um, I'm pro I'm, I'm probably gonna go with my shipment on this one, um, especially coming out of London Shoe Fires. Uh, the talent, the grappling talent that they've got in that camp um, is is top notch. Um, obviously, they got the, the strikers as well, like um, MVP Michael Benning Page as well. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm leaning towards Shipman and now. Um, method, I guess, submission. Uh, no, I don't think this will go the distance because um, Shipman is not the hardest person to hit either. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's going to go to decision, but I'm going to go with Shipman. Uh, Adam Busif versus Alfie Davis. Davis is 7 and 1. Busif is is nine and six. Uh, Busev, I've seen, I've actually seen live. I saw him when he fought Chris Frischgold for the Cage Warriors title. Uh, I think since I, I think uh, Busev was on a little win streak at that point, and then he got to uh, Frischgold, and I think he's lost like his last four. Um, Alfie Davis, fantastic striking, um, pow, power in those legs. One of the few people I've seen actually TK or somebody with an axe kick. Um, so. Uh, I think he's going to uh, win. Um, it's going to be another finish, I think. Uh, I don't think this one's going to go to the judges. Um, I don't know how many, how many times. Let me see if, how many times Davis has gone to the judges. Um, once. Yeah, once. 
once in his pro career um, and once in his amateur career. But um, yeah, I think uh, I think this is going to be again another finish. The third, the third fight I'm going to predict. Uh, so we've got Alan Proctor. Uh, Tapology has Adam Proctor uh, as, as the fighter, but that's incorrect. It's actually Alan. Uh, Alan Proctor, Biaki Thor, Paulson. Um, Proctor did very well in their first match. Very, very well. And uh, although the decision to disqualify him was correct, because uh, it was an illegal knee, um, I, from my recollection, I'm pretty sure he was winning that fight. Um, and I'm going to go with him getting the stoppage this time. Um, or get, I'm going to go with him getting a win. Um, maybe not a stoppage, actually. Maybe um, I'm going to go, but yeah, I'm going to go with a unanimous decision. Um, I don't think that I don't think it'll be a stoppage in this one. Um, I think Biaki would have learned a lot from the first fight. Um, so I, I don't expect to be. I don't, I don't expect him to get caught again, uh, like he was. Other fights, um, I'm not, I'm not going to give a prediction on. Uh, so we've got Julian Villanova versus John Shink. John Shink is a decision machine. Um, I don't. I, th I think he's only ever had like a couple of finishes uh, in his pro and amateur career. So in his pro, in his amateur career, we've got one finish in uh, one finish in six fights. Um, and pro career, um, so he's had two fights, one one, one decision, one finish. Um, Julian Villanova, on the off, though, is three and one uh, in his pro career so far, um, and those two finishes, and so three finishes, all chokes. Uh, okay, so I saw, I, I, I looked at his fight against Lucas uh, Statskiewicz. I'm pretty sure that's incorrect. Statskiewicz, anyway, I'm going to go with. Um, I saw that fight. Uh, very good. Very, very good um, uh, fight. And, um, however, Shink is not the kind of person that he's going to find easy to choke out. Shink has gone up against some very, very decent guys like um, Wooden, um, who's currently fighting with for fighting under under the banner. Banner. Um, I think Shink is going to get another 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 win here. Um, I think it's going to be a decision. Um, because on the ground he is formidable. Um, he's he, he doesn't necessarily get do, do enough to convince you that he can get the finish, he can get the choke, but he does enough to control. He controls very quickly. He controls his opponent on the ground very well, and uh, which is probably which is why he gets most of his most, most of his uh, decisions in his favour. But it's, it's never. You, I'm, even, I'm never quite convinced that he's that he's going to actually choke this person out, or get or, or get any type of um, lock or submission. Um, so, uh, but I'm going to go with Shink uh, decision. Um, oh, uh, I said I, I said I wasn't going to predict, but uh, all right. So uh, next we have Jamie Richardson versus Jack Singh. Jack Singh uh, has fought on um, Five Star before. Um, Five and two, Jamie Richardson, who's three and three. Uh, Chaya Salim is going up against Jack Young. Uh, Jack Young is three and two. Chaya Salim is zero and one. And we have Sean Flynn going against Sam Patterson. Sam Patterson is making his debut. Um, I think it's his debut at Pro because he's had amateur fights. Yeah, he's had amateur fights, so this is a Pro debut for Sam Patterson. Um, I'm beating his, I'm beating his amateur. Um, five and zero. Oh. Uh, majority decision, arm lock, um, TKO decision, submission. So very varied, uh, quite varied. Uh, okay, we'll see what happens there. Uh, Sean Flynn, who's two and one, so I'll be making have his fourth pro fight. Uh, so his wins have come by TKO. Okay, um, but his last fight was in 2009. Mm. 
but yeah, uh, those are the pro main card, main card fight. Um, the one prelim I'm looking forward to um, is Felix Klinkhammer. Klinkhammer again. Um, so he's three and out. Another again, another one of these. Um, uh, um, this is another product of um, London Shoe Fires. Um, immense grappler, immense grappler. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing him. Uh, I think that's going to be a very, very good fight. But yeah, so we're getting up to, we're getting, coming to Brentford now. So time to wrap this up now um, and get my stuff and go and watch some fantastic fights so hopefully I can get some some uh, I can get some interviews backstage as well I'll do my best right peace Championship is over. Um, fast, start, fast Start Championship nine. Uh, it's a good event. Very, very well run. Very, very smoothly run. Um, the main event that I was expecting didn't actually come to fruition. Uh, so I was expecting um, Mike Shipman versus Kevin Fryer for the middleweight title. And as a co-main, I, I was expecting Adam Boabusif. Um, going up against Alfie Davis. Alfie Davis was actually in attendance, but he wasn't fighting. Um, so Alfie Davis and Mike Shipman both have gotten a call up to Bellator for their London event in two weeks, three weeks, something like that. Um, so they were pulled from the event, and instead uh, it was headlined by Alan pra Alan Prato, uh, versus Biaki Thor Palson. Biaki Thor Palson was amazing. He's controlling the ground, it is ridiculous. And Alan Proctor, from my understanding, is a black belt in, in, in Jiu Jitsu. But Paul Carlson controlled him yeah, so, so easily. Uh, eventually got the finish. Um, so that is basically 2 0 to Paul Carlson. Uh, I'm sure he's going to be much more happy with this one because obviously the last one he won by disqualification. Um, but this time he finished him. Uh, I'm sure he. Uh, it gave him the satisfaction that he wanted. Um, so that was good. Uh, Co-main was John Schink versus Julian Villanova. 
uh, John Shink, I said before, as a decision machine, <laughs> not today. Today he got that finish. He got that finish. Uh, and I spoke to him about that um, a little bit um, that, uh, in the post fight interview about wanting to get that finish. Um, so yeah, you, uh, you, you see that in the, in the, in the interviews um, once that gets posted. So yeah, um, on, on, on the ground, um, Piccadilly line now, I just wanted to get my train home. Tired, absolutely knackered and absolutely starving. Uh, so I need to find, I need to stop somewhere. Um, find something to stop so I can get some food. Um, but yeah, all in all, fantastic event. Uh, very happy, thank you so much. Um, to, to people at Fight Start, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate having the chance to come down, having the chance to actually talk to the fighters. Really, really appreciate it. It was an amazing event. Um, I, I, depending on what my schedule looks like, I might try to, I might see if I can um, do the same at the Halifax event, um, which is in about three, four weeks or so. Um, if not, um, my next vlog will probably be uh, another Tanko one. Um, I'm going back to Manchester for Tanko FC. Um, so yeah, um, if you don't see me on your screen before then, then I'll see you there. Peace, love.